Good evening. There's growing concern among businesses following the introduction of further COVID restrictions. It comes as the Prime Minister announced the so-called Plan B changes in response to the Omicron variant. Here's a reminder of some of the key points set out by Boris Johnson yesterday evening. From tomorrow, face coverings will be mandatory for most indoor venues like theatres and cinemas. From Monday, the Prime Minister says you should work from home if you can. And next week, COVID passes showing vaccination status or a negative lateral flow will be needed for nightclubs and venues where larger crowds gather. We'll be hearing more about this from our reporter Amanda Acas in Brighton in a moment. But first, Sarah Smith has been to visit businesses in Maidstone to find out how they're being affected. The Christmas. Well, our reporter Sarah Smith joins me now from Maidstone. Sarah, some real concerns there about restrictions on Christmas festivities. Well, as we've just been saying, COVID passes proving a vaccination or a negative test will be required at venues with large crowds from next week. One nightclub owner says all the changes make him feel like he's in a cartoon being repeatedly hit over the head with a mallet. And there are warnings of potential closures and job losses. Our reporter Amanda Rakas joins us now live from Brighton. Amanda, a stark response to this latest development. Now, it's nearly 75 years since Crawley became a new town. To mark the anniversary, the Borough Council has bid for the area to become a city, arguing the status would rebuild local pride after the impact of the pandemic on the local economy and nearby Gatwick Airport. Crawley was designated as a new town on January the 9th, 1947. Back then, it had a population of 9,000. Today, it's home to approximately 120,000 people. According to the Borough Council, Crawley contributes a quarter of West Sussex economic output despite occupying just 2% of the county's land mass. Lucinda Adam has been finding out what city status could mean for Crawley. Now it's Children in Need's first ever Christmas single and it features Shakin' Stevens alongside Kent resident Stuart McChain. Stuart plays Cousin Mac in the hit CBBC show Andy and the Band and they perform Shakey's legendary classic. Stuart is also currently appearing as Robin Hood in Panto in Gravesend. Claudia Sabasis. Well, in case you hadn't realised, Christmas is just around the corner. Lots of you have been sending us your festive pictures. Thank you very much for that. Lavina Hedges from Gillingham has created an incredible Christmas display to raise money for charity. She started the tradition last year. Since then, they decorated their home for Easter and for Halloween too, raising nearly £5,000. Peter Whittlesey is there live for us now. Peter, how's it looking? <laughs> Thank you, John. That's it from me for the moment. James Stan will be back with your late news. That's at 10.30. For the rest of us, have a good evening. Bye-bye.